Hello beautiful people, welcome back. It's been a while since I asked the idea of unpopular opinions, because I felt it became very redundant and oversaturated. But today, I wanted to correlate it in a bit of a different vein, and that is when it comes to TV shows and movies, which is something I don't talk about too often, but I do have a lot of thoughts on characters and shows that I wanted to share. There's really no requirements, whatever popular show or movie and opinion I have comes to mind, I will discuss. I wanted to start with you, the Netflix series. I hated love. I was so glad when she was off on the show. I know the character has a huge following online and her fans, but to me love was so exhausting to watch. She was so impulsive throughout the entire show, and it wasn't just like a moment or two of impulsiveness, it was back to back to back. It's like if she had a bad day or someone even looked at her wrong, it would result to someone being off and it felt so unnecessary the entire time. Both Joe and Love are terrible people, but I feel like the way Joe's storyline dealt with his terrible actions is much more interesting and has a lot more momentum. The next show I wanted to talk about is Shameless, the US version, wildly popular show. And I would say the only likable characters in the Gallagher family by the time the show ended, not the entire show, was Carl and sometimes Liam. But Liam was kind of inconsequential in the last season, which is why I mostly say Carl. Debbie and Liv progressed into the most annoying and unreliable people on the show. They were literally insufferable. But I do also appreciate the realism in it. It shows that everyone doesn't get a happy ending, and it's a realistic progression of someone who grew up in their toxic environment. Considering how huge the fanfare continues to be around Mickey and Ian, I may be one of the only people who watch this show that don't love them together. Their relationship was very tumultuous, and I was honestly kind of hoping that during the mid and later seasons that they would just break things off, go their separate ways, and find someone new. Fiona also had her moments where she took on so much, but I also think it was kind of wrong of her to leave Liam when she signed up to be his legal guardian. The next show I wanted to talk about is That So Raven. Even though I think That's So Raven is one of the most enjoyable Disney Channel shows to this day, I think the first few seasons pale in comparison to the later seasons, where Raven becomes more involved in the fashion world. It's just more interesting plots in those seasons. The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody The Sweet Life on Deck literally cannot hold a candle to the original Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. I would go as far to say it's borderline unwatchable. The chemistry of the original Sweet Life is unmatched. All the characters were perfectly casted, and they had so much charisma for a youth-centered show. And also the plot lines. Sweet Life on Deck didn't have one plot that touched the Ghost in 613 episode, or the commercial episode. It's just quality, and to this day remains some of the best episodes for a Disney Channel show ever. Euphoria. I love Cassie. I love the drama she brings. She practically carried season 2 of Euphoria. Like, yes, yeah, she's a horrible friend, but we all have our villains that we love. Also, I think Sydney Sweeney is just so convincing and believable in the role. She really does have some acting chops. I think more than anything, that's what pulls me into her character. A good chunk of the Euphoria cast are first-time actors, or very new, and it can show at times. But it also adds a certain charm and appeal to the show. But when it comes to acting, I think in this role, Cassie is one of the best performed. Which I actually think most people would agree with, but they won't agree with liking her character. But honestly, during season 2, I mostly looked forward to her on screen because she was so entertaining. Also, I thought Dominic Fike's character was a complete bore, and I hope that his character is written off the show. I can't even remember his character's name. Another addition to villains I like is Azula from The Last Airbender. I thought she was an absolutely electrifying villain, and I looked forward to all of her scenes as well. Zuko and Azula had a twisted sibling dynamic and relationship, largely due to their troubled upbringing, and I think the show does a great job at showing the complexities of the reason they act the way they do, and it makes me sympathize with both of them, even though Azula chose to stick to her evil side. I would have loved to see a show primarily focusing on Azula, honestly. Pose Season 3 I thought Pose was an amazing show that deserved an amazing ending. I strongly dislike majority of Season 3 of the show. I know it was showered in acclaim, but it felt like a rush job and almost like a totally different show. 
there was a huge tonal shift in the show as well. And there's so many things that can be said, but a lot of people have just chalked it up to Ryan Murphy doing what Ryan Murphy does. The last show I wanted to talk about is The Goldbergs. The Goldbergs is an extremely boring show. It reads like a less interesting variation of Everybody Hates Chris. But that about concludes my opinions. Let me know your unpopular opinion about a TV show or movie down below. Give me some detail on why you like or dislike something or someone or a show. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Bye.